Hey everybody, Steve Chase here. I'm going to share with you QuickBooks Online Advanced Features Tutorial, where I've kind of hi highlighted and picked some of the top features that I think you get when you have a QuickBooks Online Advanced subscription. So here's our list to cover today in this video. We'll look at setting up custom reminders that can be very helpful. We'll look at how to manage reclassifying transactions really quickly with the breeze. It's like magic. We'll understand how to import transactions and there's new features here to invoice um, bills, checks, expenses, and bank deposits. We'll explore some custom reporting that's available exclusively in QuickBooks Online Advance. We'll also look to see how you would get started with trying to import data to Excel and then have a live feed straight into Excel where you could update the Excel file from your QuickBooks files. And lastly, um, just managing the tags, classes, and locations where you have unlimited amounts of those, where there are restrictions and size limits if you have the QuickBooks Online Plus uh, or lower version. So let's get started here, and here we go. All right, let's start off with how to set up reminders for yourself. We get to the workflows um, by the gear icon, then select Manage Workflows. I'd say start off with looking at the templates, explore them, and then find one that you think will be useful, and then go from there. For example, uh, one of my favorites is get unsent invoice reminder. Sounds, does exactly what it sounds like. You get a reminder if you forget to send out an invoice, and you kind of have to go into the details and specify, like, well, after how many days would you like the reminder to come after an invoice is created or perhaps after invoice is uh, the date. So play around with all this and when you're done, save it and then you'll see all of your workflows populated in the My Workflows section. Okay, next lesson. Let's take a look at one of my favorite tools as an accountant user. It's the Batch Reclass. So we would go to the gear icon and click Reclassify Transactions. It's opened up to QuickBooks Online Advanced users, but everybody else um, on the other subscriptions, the only way you'd get this if you had a QuickBooks Online accountant version. So how this works is you would start off with either a balance sheet transactions or profit and loss. Very useful for going through the whole year and a reclassifying. All right, so basically on the left-hand side, you could click on it, you know, and it's very likely that, all right, we're running some reports and we did not tag some of these here as locations. Well, this would give us a quick way to go in, select, a, select two or more or so, you know, or one actually, and then click reclassify. This will allow us to change the account the class and the location. So maybe these are South Dakota, you know, apply, boom, just like that. We have that report there. Uh, super powerful. This is uh, reclassifying transactions, very useful to manage and so forth. Okay. And you can even filter by, Hey, just show me the certain customers or show me all the locations that currently are set to you know, South Dakota, find them. And it's perhaps that we have a mistake. Everyone in South Dakota should have been Lisa Williams. So I could just override the rest and just change it over here to Lisa Williams, apply, boom, just like that. Okay, the next lesson I wanna share with you is how to work with importing invoices and bills and checks and expenses into QuickBooks Online Advanced. So we would begin um, by clicking on the gear icon and then there is import data. All right, clicking on invoices here, there's much more than just invoices, but this will get us to the screen that we would like to be on. Um, <clears throat> uh, give me one second here. Okay, let me resume here. I was in the wrong place. We want to go to the plus new icon here and click on batch transactions. 
All right, so here we go. This is the screen where we have the ability to create, modify, or delete. <laughs> That's pretty scary there. Or delete these, these transactions here. So I'm going to go in to show you what we're working with. So if we've got invoices, then this is our template here. If we would like to bring in bills, we could come in here and say, I'd like to import these bills. And um, pretty cool. Um, some of you might do checks. And so you would just go in here and fill it out as best you can and then uh, import that out. So you can copy and paste or you got to import the CSV here that's going to be looking for data to be able to bring it in. And just definitely attempt to, you know, bring in the, uh, use the CSV template as you're going through these to be able to get you an idea of kind of how you want to have it structured out here um, and then explore with that. Okay, uh, next I want to share with you custom reporting that's available in QuickBooks Online Advanced. And if you just go to your regular reports menu on the left, get out of here okay here reports got it all right so you have the report builder that's available in QuickBooks online advance so this is different than a plus so you can start with a blank report or you can build off of one let me build off of a sales report here we have like pivot table options. So we have view as table, chart view right here. Okay, so like that. And then um, all the way on the right, there's pivot table options. So we can say, hey, we'd like to have the customer name on the rows, columns to be perhaps the classes, and the values, perhaps the amounts. There we go. All right. And so this is just last month, but the idea is we, we would have the ability to do last 12 months. Kind of really, really useful to be able to see. Here's the John Doe's, Lisa Williams, the Max Thomas's, and then those not specified. So this could be very helpful. And then when you're done, you can export it out to Excel and manage those scenarios there. Okay, uh, so speaking of Microsoft Excel, we have the spreadsheet sync option. So you would install an add-in from your Microsoft Excel page and sign in. It will ask you to provide your Intuit ID. Once you're connected to your QuickBooks account, then you'll see a list of data tables that you can bring in vendors, customers, profit and loss, balance sheets. And then once you have it connected, you'll then have a spreadsheet sync icon on your home tab that will allow you to connect and restore the connections from there. So you get to this guys um, by the, the gear icon and you'll click spreadsheet sync using QuickBooks Online Advanced to manage that. All right. And lastly, for this lesson, is we want to talk about managing locations, tags, and classes. So there are some great reports if you have a class report, sales by class summary. It's nice. There's also sales by location. And if you are a big fan, of reports and especially doing your own report with the profit and loss by location for example if you're a big fan of locations classes you may be close to hitting the 40 40 limit on tags class locations so upgrading to quickbooks online advanced or just starting it off from scratch from 
advanced from the get-go, you won't have any limitations on running out of chart of accounts as well as the location classes and tax. So, okay. so speaking of which, if you're looking for a new QuickBooks Online advanced setting, check the link in the description below where I have a 30% off or a discount for the next uh, 12 months that can help you get started and test it out and so forth. And wish you the best on your QuickBooks Online advanced journey and reporting Talk to you later. See you on the next video.